lakini naye Kenyans tuache kudanganya wakati mwingine hata wewe unaona tu ni hii ni uongo reality to be said even if hata kama uko wazimio hata kama uko Kenya kwanza alliance the truth to be said wacha isemwe kweli cause in reality there are certain messages that we receive from Dennis Tumbi that is so manipulative that does not have reality today there's a video that is circulating in social media where Dennis Tumbi has go far and he has edited that video at the point mali penye raila anaongelelea kabla amalize issue ya religion Dennis Tumbi ame edit mpaka mali penye raila amolo dinga anasema kwamba this country is a secular country that uh, according to the constitution at uh, he, that uh, and again when you see that uh, that video anasema anasema kwamba hiyo 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 mahali penye imeanza kuanzia mwanzo vile alikuwa anaongelelea alafu kufika hapo katikati eh ame edit vizuri vizuri kabisa na kuedit hiyo kitu hata vile imetoka iko fadi ina, ina, inasema kwamba Raila Mulu Dinga anasema that is saying that this country is not about christianity and of course this is the, the video that Dennis Itumbi is uh, is uh, talking about the trailer Amolo Dinga anasema anaenda kufunga makanisa zote Kenya hii ati tuchunge ati Kenya Raila Amolo Dinga anaenda kuacha shetani so watch this video that Dennis Itumbi am edit then after that then we see way forward this will play kwa juu zaidi kuchinda zingine na hiyo kasumba bali imebaki mpaka siku ya leo. Tutaimaliza. Katiba yetu imesema ya kwamba Kenya is a secular society. Think you have watched that video. And after watching that video, I think you have you don't judge still. Don't comment still because as per what i have done, uh, what i have done about my research is to bring all these videos so that you can understand who is bringing fake news who is bringing fake news because Dennis Tumbi is in front of bringing fake news every time and according to the way you have seen he has posted in a facebook timeline and the truth to be said hata kama wewe uko Kenya kwanza hata kama wewe uko azimio ukweli usemwe and this is the video that Raila Odinga is explaining about the religion that this country according to the constitution inakubali mtu kuchagua religion yake if about christianity is being defended by the, the, the constitution if it is about islamic is being defended by the constitution na all those uh, uh, kulingana na hizo zote venye amesema so Dennis Tumbi kuja kusema kwamba Raila Amolo Dinga amesema uongo <laughs> ati kusema at this country is secular is not true so this is the pure and full video that Raila Amolo Dinga was explaining about religion watch this video katiba yetu imesema ya kwamba Kenya is a secular society and is a god fearing nation and we must respect all religions so we have said we will respect all religions I saw my competitor talking and saying, I will, uh, I will protect uh, the church. The church does not need to be protected by a president. The church is really protected by the constitution. <laughs> Just like the mosque is also protected by the constitution. The temple is also protected by the constitution. So we'll apply equal treatment to all religions in our country. The freedom of freedom of worship is guaranteed by our constitution. I am a Christian, but I do not have to discriminate against a Muslim. The Muslims have equal right as, as Christians. I think after watching that video, the video of Denis Otumbi that has been edited, and the video that has displayed that I have the full package, is showing the reality and what Raila Odinga said. Because actually what he said is that this country ni inchi ya huru. You choose your religion and is being defended in the constitution. 
You know, if you are a Christian, the constitution is defending you. There's no need for Raila Muludinga to come and say that he's going to defend Christianity. When it comes to Islamic, the constitution is defending Islamic. There's no need for Raila Muludinga or anyone or William Ruto to come and defend the religion. When it comes to anyone, Yuni Shidayako, and that is the truth that Raila Muludinga has put on place. So Dennis Itumbi Kukuja Kusema, Kwamba even Ido Odinga came out early and said that he was going to close these mushroom churches. I think it is malicious. It does not have any stand. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we are Kenyans. Now, constitution defends certain things in this Republic of Kenya. When it comes to religion, you know, Dennis Itumbi Amedangani. Raila Muludinga is just saying I think even you can judge now. After watching the edited video for Dennis Itumbi, and the video that I brought that Raila Muldinga talked fully and explaining about the religion the way he wants the religion to be, that there's no need for Raila Muldinga. He said himself, there's no need for him to defend Christianity. Constitution is already defending it. So, Ivo, Ivo and yeye amekuja na kuweka vitu ya uongo. Reality. Na hii ni uongo, uongo, uongo mtupu. Na umejua mezidi kuendelea tu kusema hivo kila wakati. Eh? And I think some people s s think that like they are so holy, you know. W what I may ask, sincerely speaking, as Kenyan, if this is the opinion of Raila Muludinga, you mean Dennis Itumbi is piwa? Ni mutu wakuenda kanisa ni mutu piwa? I mean, let not religion to be attack Raila Muludinga. I don't want to be biased. I may not be a supporter of Raila Muludinga. I may, uh, may be supporter of William Ruto. I may be supporter of Wajakoy. I may be supporter of uh, Umuaure. But let that decision be at the ballot uh, during 9th August general election. But the truth to be said, let not Dennis Itumbi to come and circulate malicious fake news about religion that Raila Muludinga has said that is going to close about Christianity in this Republic of Kenya. Ata weo na judge. Judge after umewatch hizo video mbili, si ndio? And that is the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Hiyo ndio ukweli tunataka. Na ukweli Dennis Tumbi hana. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I appreciate so much because of great support toward this channel. If you are a visitor, please do me a favor and ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Bye bye till we meet on another video. Tiba yetu imesema ya kwamba Kenya is a secular society and is a God-fearing nation, and we must respect all religions. So we have said we will respect all religions. I saw my competitor talking and saying, I will, uh, I will protect uh, the church. The church does not need to be protected by a president. The church is really protected by the constitution. <laughs> Just like the mosque is also protected by the constitution. The temple is also protected by the constitution. So we'll apply equal treatment to all religions in our country. The freedom of, freedom of worship is guaranteed by our constitution. I am a Christian, but I do not have to discriminate against a Muslim. The Muslims have equal rights as, as Christians. <laughs>